Man, I ain't gonna lie. I just did a thousand mile. I did a thousand mile run last night, man, from Texas to Georgia, man. The dude, man, they they paid me like seventeen. What was? Let me go back in here and look at it. Yeah, they paid me seventeen fifty for it. Tremaine from Louisiana in the building. Down, down, down in the loo. Hey, have uh, have Louisiana recovered from uh, Katrina yet, man? I mean, uh, it's been some man, years, it's, man. Has 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 you guys uh recovered from that yet? What's up? Man, look, it, it's been a minute. I'm I'm not really from deep down south. I'm from like northeast Louisiana, but as as far as I've seen it, they they recovered slowly but surely. They got everything back booming, business booming again, and people stay down there, leaving down there. So, was you down there when when that was going on? Yeah, man, I was I was young though when that happened. I wasn't like all the way down there in that area, but I was in Louisiana when it was going on. Everybody, was, the whole basically is storming everywhere down there and flooding. And... All right, Tremaine, man, go ahead and uh, introduce yourself and uh, give us a little bit of background about yourself. Well, man, um, yeah, it's sitting there from Louisiana. And, uh, shit, 29 years old, man. I've been driving trucks for, like, six years. Um, started with this company right here, man, with, with God, with God damn, man, Super Ego, and, man. Well, well, hold on, hold on. You said, uh, you, you've been driving for six years, so you, you was driving for other companies before you got with controversial company Super Ego, right? I was actually driving for my mom and pop company. Uh, I was doing Reaper for three years, and I did Flatbed, you know, three years for them. All right, all right. So uh, you you reached out to me, and you want to uh, give your experience uh, about controversial company Super Eagle. Uh, before I give you the floor, uh, what what was the allure? Why why you decided to uh, go with uh, Super Eagle? I'm not going to lie, man, it, it, was, it, was pretty much, it was pretty much, you know, about the pay. You know, they said, you know, they make 88% of the gross, and, man, like, they clocked. I ain't going to lie to, you know, with them doing their logs or whatever, you know, with, with, with being able to adjust their time and everything, you know, it kind of seemed like, you know, you, you'll think it'll make a difference, you know, with the lows and, you know, you, you, you know, really making some fair money, man. That was, that was what it was all about. All right, so go ahead and uh, share your experience with us. Uh, well, first, how long have you been working for them, man? Because I, I'm I'm coming up under I'm coming up under a lot of scrutiny as of late. A couple of uh, viewers of the of the channel have have reached out and said that I only talk to people that only been there for a short time and not winning was super ego, and I'm like. But you guys reach out to me and you guys want to share your experience, whether it's good or bad. But how long have you have you been driving for them before you decided to to leave or to or to uh, uh, vent about the company? Coffee makes me a mite nervous when I drink it. I'm not going to lie, man. I've been with them since January. I started with them back in January of this year. Um been with me for about, you know, seven months, <clears throat> and I ain't gonna lie, man, everything started off good as any other company would, you know, the pay, the pay was damn good, you know, went from grossing from like 8,300 almost, you know, every week and bring home at least two of it, and man, it, it, uh, it done went down dramatically, man, they say you get paid 88%, and Man, don't say it really don't seem like no eighty eight percent over here, man. It really don't. All right, so go so 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 go ahead, man, because you you told me in the in the background that you you said there's some pros and some cons uh, with the uh, with the company. I guess the pro is the good money at first, but 
as you said, going later into the time that you spent with them, things has changed. So I'm going to give you the floor. Go ahead and uh, let us know what's up, man. Yeah, and I see, um, like I was saying, man, yeah, it went, it went from there to there. You know, I want to say after like two months, after like two months of me getting in real good with them, you know, uh, a whole lot started to change. It's like they was wanting you to do, it's like they want you to drive at least like a thousand miles or more, man, something like that a day. I know 700 miles or more, man, a day just to, you know, really be able to really make a nice check to, I would say to really get even something like probably like eighteen to two thousand. They want you to take it for like a next day delivery. Be there. Then after you get there, they want you to be ready to hit the road again. Not knowing that you know you need to get to sleep and everything. And um, man, like it's 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 just a lot of bullshit. You know that that comes with this man. They they. Man, this, you know, it is, it, it, it's just basically bullshit, man. They, you know, they take brand new truck zero down, and man. So when you when when you came in, uh, when you started back in January, uh, what was what was the offer to you? I mean, they. Uh, I, I know that they give you an opportunity to choose from a brand new truck where you had to put some money down to a used truck that you don't have to put money down. Which which one that you went with? Nah, I went with the truck where I didn't have to put nothing down. They gave me a Peterbilt. Uh, it came with like, I want to say it came with like 84,000 miles on it. Um, Everything's fine, you know. I want to say, like, the first day they gave me my keys, though, man. First day they gave me my keys. They talking about, they, they hit me with a tick, Mr. Somebody, you need to take your trust. They go get a PM service deed on it. I was like, well, damn. Like, this is shit that, you know, this is stuff that could have been done, you know, way before I even got here. Yeah, I give me a truck to the kid, now the truck needs to work deed to it. So, you know, it was kind of bullshit, you know, when I, when I, when, you know, when they first gave me the keys and everything, I had to go do that and, you know, got on the road and everything. Um, like I said, went went to, was making some damn good money at first, and like after them after them first two months, man, I, it's like my truck started catching problems, and I was in and out the shop a whole lot, man. Damn, you know, after I started going in and out the shop, they start making they they tried to make it look like you know that it was me who was missing money based on, you know, me taking the truck back and forth to the shop. Then, you know, they tried to start blaming on the economy and start to say, oh, maybe it's because you're in this area and this area isn't good with reloading and it's going to be cheap with loads coming out of this area, you know. And, man, like I said, I, I've been driving, I've been driving, you know, good enough to know what money is, man, and how loads should be paid and, you know how you estimate mileage with the money and things like with them, man. It, it, it it's not right at all. Like I did, like okay, I did a low one week, man. The low was paying eighteen hundred. And talked to the bro, uh, talked to you know the broker about the low. The broker told me the low was paying eighteen hundred. They sent me the rate card for it and everything, man. Low paying a thousand. You tell them about it, they tell you that the broker or somebody went back in and they got their cut out. But the whole time, you know, the person then said that they got their cut out way before. And, you know, it, you know that's where I really found out they were stealing money then. Then I had another scenario because they stopped sending me pictures of the Raycon. They ticks up all the info now. They, they stopped sending me the pictures of the Raycon. They, I don't caught them slipping, man. They done sent me they fake Raycon. I done got a picture from the, you know, the real Raycons from the broker. They, they, they messed up one day and sent me a real one. Then after that, man, they just stopped sending them to me and they type up all my info now. And, you know, my dispatcher fucked up, you know, another day, you know, with texting me the info, Tommy, telling me how low was paying 2100 
text up all the info real good, then he double back on it and text back talking about, you know, oh, I messed up and I sent I sent the wrong delivery date and I also put the wrong rate on there. The low is paying eleven hundred, it's not paying twenty one hundred. I was like, you know, that twenty one hundred seems a little realistic with the distance that I was going. And you know, it's it's crazy, you know, when you find out, you know, somebody really stealing from you, you know, that you thought was helping you out the whole damn time, man. From from what I gathered, all the information, all the drivers I talk to, all the articles I read, all the posts I read, uh, they're not there to help you, man. I mean, they 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 are there to make money for themselves and. It seems as though that they doing a good job by bringing by bringing guys of your caliber in, man. I mean, did you before you even went to Super Ego because you did say the only, the, the thing that allured you to the company was the That would save you some money. And I'm playing devil's advocate here. Was you going in there thinking that you can get rich quick? Uh you you thinking that you're going to catch a bag? You think you're going to Make all this money uh, with with uh, with this company. Man, hey, look, I ain't gonna lie. It's like you, it's like you hit it right on the dot, bro. <laughs> hey, I did think I was gonna come over here and win it for real, bro. I really did. I seen that. I seen that eighty eight percent. You know, I like you know, damn, this is different, you know. So yeah, man, I really thought I was gonna be coming over here winning. Don't get me wrong. Don't don't get me wrong. I mean, if you're coming in there with that type of aspiration, that's 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 great and all. But that's why I keep encouraging uh, my new drivers, drivers. I keep encouraging them to do your due diligence, do your research, do understand uh, what you're getting into. I mean, you're not going to know what you're getting into until you're actually in it, and that's cool. You you went there, you. You did the damn thing. You saw stuff. And now at this point, you just feel like, hey, uh, it's it's just not working out for me. And I and and now I see why. And you're trying and you're getting out early. Are you still with the company or are you going to try and and continue to give the company the benefit of the doubt? Or are you just had it up? No, I mean, I'm- I ain't getting the benefit of the doubt no more, man, because it man, I'm not gonna lie, man, and I'm the type of person I'll be trying to speak out things to where it feel like I don't owe nobody, but man, um it's been it's been multiple occasions to where I'm not gonna even lie to you, man. I have it's been occasions to where I haven't even got paid for like down there a month. I'm not even sugarcoating shit to you, man. I've missed down there at least three or four chicks, man. And, you know, I tried to get them chance after chance. You know, I tried switching dispatchers. Man, it's, um, it's, it, it ain't working. It ain't worth it over here, bro. It's not. Tremaine, um, now you, you said you only been there for, what's this, July now? So July 7, uh, January. So you've been there for, you've been there for seven months. You've been trying to, you, you, you was trying to do the damn thing. You notice that it's, it's, it's just not working for you. Why is it that you guys are having, I guess, issues with controversial company super Eagle versus the guys that's, that's there saying that they're winning. They know how to, they, they know how to get the lows. They know where the money at. They know how to, they know how to, how to treat uh, super ego. What I mean, what do you say to guys that say to you guys like y'all, y'all doing it all wrong? Damn, they must be kissing ass or something, man. Because ain't no, ain't no way that they winning unless you know they just really want somebody to think they winning, you know, and really have people back them up on it and you know it's basically them you know trying to make the company look good and man honestly man 
I just have to tell them to their face, man, that, you know, you, you ain't, ain't no possible way you making that money. If you is, then what, like, what it is we doing wrong? Is it a certain part of the company? Because they got, like, five different parts of the company, man. Like, is it a certain part of the company that you working for? They got you with it? Uh, you know, I don't know. They got me with this other part of the company, man. And I'll, I'll tell you, man, like... I've been, man, it, it, it's some crazy stuff that I hear from, from other super ego drivers as well, man, about what we go through. Like, I, I don't see it. I don't see it, you know. I don't see it. I can't see it, man, unless they've been here, you know, longer than I have, you know, at least, uh, you know, probably a year or two longer. That's probably how they went, but, you know, other than that, man, I, I, can't, I just don't see it. I, I, I don't. Well, I got, like I said, I, I got viewers of the channel, uh, a handful of viewers of the channel that that kind of looks look towards me as the anti uh, super ego guy. And I'm like, well, I'm not I'm, I'm, I'm not that I'm just a, I'm just a channel here that just give drivers an opportunity to share their experience. Whether it's with controversial company Super Eagle or any other company for that matter, it's just I guess it's just more Super Eagle than any other companies. But, but I mean I'm I'm thankful for you guys to come on and share your experience because this is all this is all your experience. I'm just I'm just hearing what what the what the people are saying about Super Eagle because, like I said, I'm in a whole bunch of Super Eagle groups that that sh that shares their experience too and you mentioned early early in the conversation that you said that super eagle wants you guys to drive more than a thousand miles uh a thousand miles a day so by them finagling the the the, the hours of service are, are you still saying that they still doing that i mean i i heard that they don't do that anymore but you you saying that they are coffee today didn't you coconut cake and coffee activate boost okay can, uh, what i'm what i'm saying is do they still finagle the uh the uh hours of service the the the, the, the electronic yeah, law yeah yeah they'll, they'll definitely do that for you man i swear they will all you gotta do is call them up they be like uh you know you tell me your truck number tell them what company you work for they ask you what you need i need a full shift are you loaded? Yeah, I'm loaded. Do you have time on your bill? Yes, I got time on my bill. Do you, if we need to, if we need to move your time and your day, can you make a fake bill? Yeah, I can. Wow, <laughs> that's crazy. It, that's it, crazy. It is. Baby. All right, so so Tremaine, man, you uh, so you're 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 pretty much done with Super Eagle. Uh, yeah, man, I ain't gonna lie. I, I just did a thousand mile. I did a thousand mile run last night, man, from Texas to Georgia, man. The dude, man, they they paid me like seventeen. What it was? Let me go back in here and look at it. Yeah, they paid me seventeen fifty four. But the broker told me that the load. You know, it was a little bit more than it. <clears throat> and man, after I, after I, you know, after I found all that out, you know, I did a high value load last night, like, you know, with some TVs or whatever, man. And I know how, you know, I know, I know how low is paid. The broker told me that the low is ten twenty seven hundred, but they only paid me seventeen fifty of it. And man, like after I did that little run last night, man, you know, I was like, you know, this is it. You know, because, you know, it, it's making me fall behind on my bills and everything, man. And, you know, I, I, can't, I can't risk losing nothing, man, trying to stick around with the company, you know, thinking that it's going to get better when I see that, you know, it's actually not. All right. So today's your last day uh, with a controversial company, Super Eagle. Uh, would you suggest uh, 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 Super Eagle to... Anybody else that that's that that want to get in and try to and try to get this money from them? Man, to be honest, hell no, nah, man. Because it, it don't matter who you are, it don't matter what you do for them. They gon' 
They gonna run over you either way it go, man. No matter who you are, what you doing for them, how much how much money you helping them make, they still gonna fuck you at the end, man. No, I would definitely not recommend super ego to anyone, man. And I ain't gonna lie, most the reason why most people feel like they gotta go over there, man, is because they feel like it's a second chance. It's like one of those second chance truck companies, and. That's that's really how they bait people in by telling you know they they accept drivers you know with different you know with a whole lot on their background you know so that's 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 pretty much how they still you know win and then most people really know really don't know about the bad reviews and you know the the shit they really go through up until you get here then they get to see it and then they be like oh I'm about to quit too but yeah no nah, man I I would definitely not recommend super ego to anyone. Well, considering um, that there is a lot of drivers out here that do need second chance, uh, a lot of new, uh, 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 yeah, they, they need uh, sec- second chance SAP drivers, uh, new drive new drivers that can't uh, that can't find uh, a, a good trucking job. I guess uh, Super Eagle is like that that light at the end of the tunnel that, that at least give them a, 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 a start, uh, or anything like that, man. All right, Tremaine. Oh, uh, no, nah, that's what, and that's, you yeah, know, that's why I gonna say that's how they, you know, that's how they getting their people right there. You know, just by that. All right, man, Tremaine. All right. So you say today's your last day, man. So, um, you're you're good at a new company. Uh, you you're good at a new company now, or what, what's your status? Oh yeah, man. I, I actually found somebody else to go to. I'm about to get ready to start with next week, man. Tribe Express. Okay, yeah. Tribe Express is 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 next on the uh, is next on the 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 MTC call, man. So definitely stay tuned for that. All right, bro. Well. Uh, Thanks for your uh, for your uh, expertise and your experience with controversial company Super Eagle, man. And I do wish you the best. Oh uh, man, I really appreciate that, man. Big cheese got it locked, boy. Want you to love me all night? Yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet? Yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G? Yeah, don't make a sound.